Tonight at 5.30, Massachusetts health officials are reporting five additional cases of vaping-related illnesses to the CDC. And there have been 10 reported cases in the Bay State and another 83 suspected cases. To date, no reported cases in Rhode Island. So we wanted to know why and how the state determines whether a case should be reported. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us with our in-depth coverage. With confirmed or probable cases of vaping related illnesses on the rise nationwide, I wanted to see how the Rhode Island Department of Health is handling reporting possible cases. We haven't had any confirmed cases in Rhode Island to date, that's correct. Rhode Island Department of Health spokesperson Joseph Reynoldkin says traditionally, the department does not report on suspected cases on any illness. Just for clarity's sake, we, um, we just report on confirmed cases. Reynoldkin says the department has outlined what symptoms are and how health care providers should report cases. If we get a, rep a, a reported case, we do some outreach. We have health care providers here who um, do some of that follow up with patients to learn a little bit more about the, pa their, the patient history. Then a determination will be made if it should be reported to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to be included in its case count. The CDC is continuing to look into this issue. They, um, they have reported that in many of the cases that have been confirmed across the country, THC appears to be um, involved. Still, neighboring Massachusetts Department of Public Health is reporting confirmed, probable, and suspected cases. The CDC really doesn't know yet definitively what is causing these cases, so mm -hmm. it's really hard at this point to pinpoint why some states are seeing more cases and some states are seeing fewer cases. The agency reports about 77% of e-cigarette users with reported lung injuries said they used THC-containing products. However, they still have not identified a single substance or um, you know, a single common factor that ties all the cases together. The Department of Health is advising to not use e-cigarettes while the CDC continues its investigation. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.